Good Tuesday morning. The opening of Romans 15 is a prayer that God might grant his church to live in harmony with one another, in accord with Jesus himself who died to make us his church, and to bring us together to himself and the Father as his sons and daughters. Let us say with one voice what we read in verse 6. All glory to God the Father and to our Lord Jesus Christ. This is exactly what Jesus prayed for us in John 17 before he went to the cross. And this is what Jesus purchased for us when he went to the cross, a blood-bought, spirit-filled unity with one another. One voice glorifying God in accord with Jesus as we welcome one another. Jesus is pleased when we lay aside our preferences for the sake of one another. We look for opportunities not to please ourselves, but to build up our brothers and sisters in Christ. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. Our neighbors, they can be strangers or maybe acquaintances, but our neighbors are also our brothers and sisters in Christ. God, we pray that in this time where there is so much division, let there be unity in your church. Help us to live in harmony with one another, building each other up so that with one voice we may glorify you. Help us to live in harmony with one another so that with one voice we may proclaim the good news of your love to lost humanity. God, in this time when everyone seems to have different convictions and opinions, may we, your children, be grounded in your word and led by your Holy Spirit. Lord, may we share deep and genuine unity in submission to your Lordship. To you belongs all the glory, all the honor, and in your holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.